hello students welcome to my channel in this video uh, we are going to discuss example 2.6 from chapter number 2 the working fluid from the book applied thermodynamics by D.D. Stock and McConkey so the statement of example 2.6 is calculate the internal energy for each of the four states given in example 2.5 as we solved and discussed example 2.5 in previous video so we have given four options a b a c and d so at these states uh, we found um, various thermodynamic properties and uh, in this specific example uh, we are going to find the internal energies only so for the first case uh, the steam is superheated as mentioned at 20 bar and 250 degree centigrade so the internal energy from the superheated uh, steam tables it is 2681 kilojoule per kilogram uh, similarly in case 2 the steam is dry saturated at 20 bar so a dry saturated uh, state uh, the specific internal energy is equal to the uh, specific internal energy at the saturated vapor line and it is for, uh, equal to 2600 kilojoule per kilogram from the uh, saturated steam tables similarly uh, for case 3 the steam is uh, wet steam a uh, 20 bar uh, 10 bar uh, with x is equal to x is dryness fraction it is 0 0.937 uh, therefore we will use the expression of saturated steam or wet steam so to find the specific in internal energy so small u is equal to 1 minus x into uf plus x ug so putting the values of x x is 0 0.937 uh, uf is 762 kilojoule per kilogram and uh, x is again 0 0.937 ug is 25 at 4 kilojoule per kilogram so simplifying this we get 2470 kilojoule per kilogram so this is the specific internal energy of the uh, wet steam at 10 bar uh, similarly to find uh, the specific in internal energy um, at 6 bar and 350 degree centigrade uh, in case D so for that again uh, we will visit the um, superheated steam table because the steam is in the superheated region so at 6 bar and 350 degree centigrade we see that the specific internal energy value is 2881 kilojoule per kilogram so this is the discussion regarding 2.6 example now we will discuss example 2.7 briefly so using the statement of example 2.7 is using the properties of ammonia given in reference 2.1 calculate the enthalpy at 1.902 bar dryness fraction is 0 0.95 and second uh, the enthalpy at uh, 8.57 bar uh, and 6 60 degree centigrade <coughs> so uh, first of all to uh, find the enthalpy at 1.902 bar and dryness fraction 0 0.95 for that uh, we have to use the expression uh, h is equal to hf plus x hfg where h is the specific enthalpy uh, of the ammonia uh, and hf is the specific of ammonia at saturated uh, liquid line and hfg is the difference of hg and hf where hg is the specific enthalpy of the ammonia at the saturated vapor line so therefore uh, at 1.902 bar uh, h is equal to hf is 89.8 kilojoule per kilogram and uh, x is 0 0.95 uh, uh, hg value is uh, 1420 kilojoule per kilogram and the value of hf is 89.8 kilojoule per kilogram so simplifying this uh, we get the value of uh, specific enthalpy which is 
1353.5 kilo joule per kilogram now for the second case the enthalpy at 8.57 bar and 60 degree centigrade first of all we will check that uh, for this case uh, either the steam is in the superheated region or the in, in the wet region so at situate uh, if we check at 8.57 bar in the saturated steam table so the saturation temperature is 20 degree centigrade which is uh, uh, less than the uh, temperature which is given uh, uh, 60 degree centigrade so 60 degree centigrade temperature is given for this ammonia and uh, it is uh, in the superheated region and the degree of superheat is 40 k 40 kelvin so for uh, the pressure 8.570 bar and uh, for temperature 60 degree centigrade if we check the superheated ammonia tables Uh, so there is no specific value of enthalpy at 8.570 bar and 60 degree centigrade for that uh, we will perform interpolation between uh, two values and uh, after um, interpolation we will get the value of specific enthalpy so, <coughs> so this is the interpolation calculation h is equal to 1462.6 plus 40 by 50 into 1597.2 minus 1462.6 so if we simplify this uh, after interpolation interpolation is very easy and we have discussed it for the previous examples as well uh, also in problem calculation we have also discussed the interpolation method thanks for watching please like and comment on my videos also subscribe my channel to get new videos